plus stay. Get ready for the heartfulness yoga flow for diabetes. This is the short flow. So we'll be beginning with a small centering practice. So sit in any cross-legged posture. Your back is straight. Shoulders are relaxed. Your palms are placed on your knees or your thighs. Just become aware of your whole body first. Keep rotating your awareness all over the body. What you are trying to do is trying to leave all your distractions behind and preparing yourself for the yoga session. Now slowly take your awareness to the tip of your nose and your breathing. When you breathe in, be aware of the cool air going in. And when you breathe out, take your awareness to the warm air which is coming out, touching the tips of your nostrils. Your awareness is at the tip of your nose. Now slowly take your awareness to your heart. Keeping your awareness at the heart, just set an intention, a sankalpa, that during your heartfulness yoga asana class, you will be completely relaxing your body and mind and you will be completely rejuvenating your health. Now slowly open your eyes and get ready for abdominal breathing. So abdominal breathing, the inhalation and exhalation is both through the nose. When you inhale, you're going to gently bulge your abdomen out and when you exhale, you're going to gently push your abdomen in. So you're going to place your right palm on your navel and your left hand can be on your thigh or your knee. If you want it, you can place it in the chin mudra or gyan mudra with the palm facing up or down, whatever works for you. So inhale, when you inhale, initially abdomen comes out, you're bulging it out, exhaling, the abdomen goes in. So let's start now. And we'll do five rounds. Inhale, exhale, abdomen in, inhale, abdomen out, exhale, abdomen in. Inhale, abdomen out. Exhale, abdomen in. Inhale, abdomen out. Exhale, abdomen in. Now do two rounds on your own. Very relaxing pranayama and gently massages all the organs in your abdominal region, including your pancreas. When you're finished, slowly get up and get ready for Tadasana. Here, your feet can either be together or they could be hip width distance apart. Back is straight, shoulders are relaxed and your chin is parallel to the ground. Interlock your fingers in the front, palms facing outwards. And inhaling, stretch your hands over your head. If you are comfortable, you can go up on your toes and stay there. Focus at a point in the front and breathe. Long inhale. Long exhale. Stay and hold the posture. Stretches the whole body from the tips of your toes up to your fingertips. Stimulates the entire body and gently massages the abdominal region. And stretches the spine 
so it reduces stress. Exhaling, slowly release the posture and relax in Sitala Tadasana. That is just stay relaxed. Now get ready for Trikonasana. Again, your back is straight, shoulders are relaxed, chin is parallel to the ground. Separate your feet, about 4 to 5 feet distance between your feet. And this distance is approximate. So if you are a taller person, you may need to separate it more. Shorter people may need to separate it less. So do your asanas with mindfulness. Now you turn your right feet out 90 degrees. The left foot faces the front. And inhaling, take your arms up from the sides to shoulder level. And your arms are in line with your legs. And your heels are, are also in one straight line. Exhaling, bend laterally to the right. And place your right palm outside your right foot or wherever you can reach, reach your right ankle, your right shin. But make sure that your hips face the front and your spine is parallel to the floor. So your chest is open and your left hand is extended towards the ceiling. You are visualizing that there is a wall in front of you and a wall behind. And stay here and breathe. Long inhale, long exhale. It's a deeper lateral bend. Massages your internal organs, all the internal organs including your pancreas and also your adrenal glands. Stretches the spine, so it helps to reduce stress. Inhaling slowly come up and now turn your left foot out 90 degrees and your right foot faces the front. Then inhaling take your hands up shoulder level and exhaling bend laterally to the left. Hips face the front, spine is parallel to the floor. Here, if you are comfortable, you can look up at your fingertips of the right hand. But if it strains your neck, look ahead or look down. And breathe, always breathe. Long inhale, long exhale. Inhaling, come up. And exhaling, release the pose. Move back into Sitala Tadasana. Now get ready for Pada Hastasana. So your back is straight, shoulders are relaxed, chin is parallel to the ground. Your feet can be close or it could be hip distance. See what works for you. Inhaling, take your hands up from the side all the way up to the ceiling. Hands are in line with your ears. Exhaling with awareness of your lower back, bend forward from your hips, back is straight. If you can, try to touch the floor and your forehead, you can take your forehead to your knees. If you need to bend your knees here, please do so. And breathe, long inhale, long exhale, hold the posture. It's a lovely abdominal compression, lovely abdominal massage and a nice stretch. Stretches the spine, the back of your legs. Inhaling slowly, come up, come up all the way up, letting your arms lead the movement and exhaling, release the posture, relax in Sitala Tadasana. Now slowly bend down, sit down and move. We are going to do the prone postures, lie down on the front of your body, you are moving into Makarasana, the, the crocodile pose. So your feet are separate. Here, you are resting your forehead on your hands. Your feels are separate. Toes are out. Relax in Makarasana. Now get ready to do Bhujangasana. So move your feet closer. Feet are either close together or hip width distance apart. Place your palms under your shoulders. Elbows are bent. 
and elbows are tucked against the body. Forehead is on the ground. Inhaling, lift your upper body up. Up to the navel. So, so the lower abdomen remains on the mat and you are looking up at the ceiling or at your eyebrow center and breathe. Long inhale, long exhale. Hold the posture with a smile on your face. So again, a lovely abdominal massage stretches your spine and it completely opens the chest. So these are heart opening postures. So these heart opening postures induce a feeling of joy and optimism in us and helps to reduce stress. Exhaling, slowly come back, relax in Makarasana. And remember, if you feel strain in any posture at any point of time, you can release it and relax and then come back to the floor as soon as you feel better. Now, taking the support of your hands, slowly push back into Shashankasana. Sit back into Shashankasana. You're placing your buttocks between your heels. Arms are stretched out and the forehead rests on the ground. Make sure that you're not lifting your hips. You're sitting on your heels. Stay here. Hold the posture and breathe. Long inhale, long exhale. Again, a lovely abdominal massage. And stretches the spine. It's a very relaxing posture. Slowly come up, letting your arms lead the movement. Come all the way up. Exhaling, release the posture. And stretch your feet out and move into Dandasana. And get ready for Paschimottanasana. So here your toes are active, your feet are together, back is straight, shoulders are relaxed and chin is parallel to the ground, arms are beside your body. Inhaling, stretch your hands up from the front in line with your ears. And exhaling, bend forward from your hips with awareness of your lower back. Try to keep your back straight, don't round it and hold wherever you can. Your toes. Your ankles, your shin, knees, wherever you can. Chin is out. And again, enjoy the abdominal massage. Spine is stretched. Relaxes you. And breathe. Long inhale, long exhale. Don't strain in the posture. Just do as much as you can. Because you will get the benefit of the posture if you do it mindfully. Inhaling, letting your arms lead the movement, come all the way up and come back to Siddhila Dandasana. So from Dandasana, get ready to move into Purvottanasana. So your back is straight here, shoulders are relaxed and chin is parallel to the floor. Make sure that your legs are active, toes are active. And take your hands, you know, place your, just lean back and place your, yeah, rest your elbow on the floor and you're taking the measurement and where your elbow rests is where you're going to place your palms. Point your toes and inhaling, lift up your hips, gently lift up your hips and slowly drop your head back. If you're comfortable, drop your head back and stay. Long inhale, long exhale. Hold the posture and breathe. It's a wonderful heart opener, heart strengthening asana. It massages the entire front of the body and it good, stretches the spine also. Strengthens the hands and endocrine glands. You know, the endocrine, entire endocrine system is stimulated. Exhaling, slowly release the posture. Relax it. Dandasana again. Now get ready to move into Mandukasana. So bend your legs, bend your knees. And you're going to sit on your heels. Separate your knees a little bit. Sit on your heels. The heels are out and the toes are joined. And you're sitting on the inside of your feet. So you are slowly moving into Vajrasana, 
and getting ready for Mandukasana. So make sure your back is straight here, shoulders are relaxed and chin is parallel to the ground. And then take your palms and place your thumb inside and form a fist. And place your fist on either side of your navel. Inhale here and exhaling bend forward, keeping your back straight, chin is out and stay. And breathe. Long inhale and long exhale. And this is a deeper abdominal massage. Inhaling slowly come up and release the posture. Now get ready for Adha Matsyendrasana. Just stretching your feet out, shake your legs. Now from Dandasan, get ready to move into Adha Matsyendrasana. So make sure that your back is straight. Shoulders are relaxed and chin is parallel to the floor. Now fold your left leg under your right leg. And bring your right foot over your left knee such that the right knee is facing the ceiling. Make sure that your back is straight and that you are sitting on both your sitting bones. Check your posture here. And place your right hand a little behind your hips. The fingers are facing the back. Now inhaling, lift your left arm up to the ceiling. Stretch, you're stretching your spine. And exhaling, gently twist to the right. And take your light, right, left arm over your right knee. And you're trying to hold your toes or your ankles, shin, whatever works for you. You're looking over your right shoulder and breathing. Enjoy the posture. So those of you who can't do this, all you have to do is just hold your, just hug your knee and just gently pull your knee towards your abdomen. Put a gentle abdominal compression and just stay in the posture. And breathe. So gentle abdominal compression. It's a heart opening pose. Exhaling, slowly release the posture. Stretch your feet out and go back into Dandasana. Again, check your posture that your back is straight. And now fold your right leg and place it under your left leg. And take your left foot and place it across your right knee. So such that the left knee now faces the ceiling. Points upwards. You're sitting on both your sitting bones, back is straight. Keep your left hand behind, the fingers are pointing backwards. The left hand is just a little below behind the hip. Inhaling, stretch your right hand up to the ceiling, stretch your spine, and exhaling, twist your body to the left, upper body to the left, over your knee, and you're holding the toes or ankles or shin. You're looking over your left shoulder and stay. Breathe, long inhale and long exhale. And those of you who can't do, can't do this, just hug your knee and gently pull it towards your abdomen. And slowly come back to Dandasana. Inhaling, come back to Dandasana. Now lie down on your back. Supine postures. Get ready for Setu Bandhasana. Now, slowly take the support of your hands and lie down. Turn to one side. Lie down. Get ready for the supine postures. Take the support of your hands. Slowly turn to one side and lie down. You're moving into Shavasana. And from Shavasana, get ready to move into Setu Bandhasana. So, move your feet closer together. The hands are by the side of the body, palms facing downwards and now bend your knees. Move your heels as close to your hips as possible, as comfortable. 
and inhaling lift your hips up as high as you can comfortably lift them and breathe long inhale long exhale your chin is to your chest palms are facing downwards for support and stay so again a wonderful heart opening posture great for the lower back strengthens the legs improves the circulation in the legs and it's a gentle massage for the abdominal organs also it stimulates your thyroid and glands and the entire endocrine system Let's stay. Enjoy the posture. Exhaling, slowly release the posture. And continue to keep your knee bent and get ready for Pavan Muktasana. So inhaling, bend your knees, take your knees towards your abdomen. Interlock your fingers and hold your shin. Exhale here and now breathe. Long inhale and long exhale. Enjoy the gentle abdominal massage, and it's great for the lower back too. Improves digestion. Hold the posture and relax in the posture. If you're comfortable, you can keep your eyes closed and just enjoy. Now keeping your knees on your abdomen, slowly release your hands and take them to the side. Arms are in line with the shoulders. Inhale here and exhaling twist. Take your knees to the right and your head to the left. And stay. Long inhale, long exhale. It's a very relaxing posture. Massages all your organs, stretches your spine, opens your heart. It's a heart opening posture. Inhaling, come up. And exhaling, twist to the left. Drop your knees gently to the left and your head to the right. And stay. Inhaling, slowly come back and exhaling, stretch your legs out and move into Shavasana. Get ready for the heartfulness, guided relaxation. Little more distance between your feet. Your hands are away from your body, palms are facing upwards. Just become aware of your whole body first. Keep rotating your awareness all over the body, from the tips of your toes to the crown of your head. Slowly take your awareness to your toes, wiggle your toes and relax them. Feel the healing energy of Mother Earth entering your toes and relaxing them. Take your awareness to your ankles, relax your ankles, relax your knees, relax your hips, both your legs are completely relaxed. Feel the healing energy of Mother Earth relaxing your legs. Relax your organ, abdominal region and all the organs in the abdominal region. Relax your pancreas. Feel the healing energy of Mother Earth relaxing your entire abdominal region. Relax your chest and relax your shoulders. Take your awareness to your back. The lower back, middle back and upper back. Relax your entire back. Now take your attention to your hands. Relax your fingers, wrist, elbows, shoulder joint. Relax both your hands completely. 
relax your neck and relax all your shoulder muscles, all your facial muscles. Relax your jaws, your lips, ears, cheek, nose, eyes, forehead, the top of your head and the back of your head. Take your awareness to the entire back of your body and relax it. Now your whole body is completely relaxed. Feel the healing energy of Mother Earth relaxing your whole body. Just let your body sink into the mat. Let go of your body completely. Just continue to relax. During your asana and pranayama practice, we generate a lot of prana. And it is during your shavasana that you assimilate this prana. So make sure that you never skip your shavasana or guided relaxation practice. Slowly move your toes and fingers. Move your feet close together, hands closer to the body, palms facing downwards. Now inhaling, stretch your hands over your head and point your toes downwards. And exhaling, slowly come back to your normal position. Then take the support of your hands, slowly turn to one side and continue to relax. You're forming a pillow of your hand under your head and your knees are bent. Now again, take the support of your hands and slowly sit up in any cross-legged posture. And you're getting ready to do your Sheetkali Pranayama. Your back is straight, shoulders are relaxed, chin is parallel to the ground and your palms are resting on your thighs and knees. You can have them in chin mudra or gyan mudra if you want to. Here, Shitkari Pranayama, you're inhaling and exhaling through your, inhaling through your mouth and you're exhaling through your nose. So Shitkari is referred to as called the uh, smiling breath or the hissing breath. So this is how we do it. So we breathe in through the mouth and we breathe out through the nose. So let's do five rounds together. So start, inhale and exhale. Then inhale and exhale. Do three more rounds on your own slowly and feel the cooling effect of sheep curry panya. It cools the whole body and mind and it's very good for acidity. Now do two rounds of sheep curry pranayama on your own. Once you are finished doing your Shitkari Pranayam, keep your eyes closed and get ready for meditation. Slowly take your awareness to your heart. Feel immersed in the love and light in your heart. Now, we will meditate together. Make a suggestion that the source of divine light that is already present inside your heart is attracting your attention towards it. Gently relax into that feeling. 
Let it be a very light suggestion, without force or concentration. If you find your awareness drifting to other thoughts, do not fight them, but also do not entertain them. Let them be like clouds passing in the sky. Gently remind yourself that you're meditating on the source of divine light in your heart. Be open and receptive to the transmission that will be flowing into you. Allow your awareness to melt into your heart. Remain absorbed within your heart until you hear the meditation has ended. Please start meditation.
That's all. Keep your eyes closed for a little while longer and tune in to how you feel. Absorb all the peace that you have experienced. Now, imagine that this peace is expanding outward to everyone uniting everything around you and is encircling the world. When you open your eyes, take the time to enjoy the experience. You can write your experience in a journal. It will help you to develop awareness and observation. We thank you for expanding this feeling of peace, unity and well-being around the world.